Hey finders, and welcome back to Fortune Finds. Today, I'm going to be reviewing a palette. I have been playing with this palette. I've been swatching, I've been swiping, I've been using my brushes on the back of my hand and primers, and just I've just been trying to see like what the best way is to apply these shadows, because upon swatching them for the first time, the pigment was really lackluster. I was really unimpressed by this palette. I'm going to just give it to you right now. I'm going to give it to you straight. This is the eyeshadow look that I created with this palette today and I've actually been wearing this for the last seven hours so as you can see this shadow does stay on pretty well. I would say seven hours in this looks really good. The shimmer's there. It hasn't really moved around too much with my hooded eyes and this liner. Sometimes it tends to get up here. While it's it a little bit, it's really not that bad. Seven hours in, I am impressed by the wear time. Ipsy Times Betty Boop, they came out with this collection. It's very different to me. I saw this and was like, wow, these colors are really pretty. It's not so often that you stumble upon a cool toned eyeshadow palette. I think when you're looking at eyeshadow palettes, like if you were to take all the eyeshadow palettes that you own, or say you don't even own that many, say you just go to Ulta and you're looking around at the eyeshadow palette section, most of them, I wanna say like 90% of them, are warm toned palettes. So this one is cool, literally. <laughs> it's cool and it's also cool. I just really like the shades, it's really pretty. I think that these shimmers are very special. These two are kind of like iridescent y. But the only thing I will say is that this doesn't have a great transition shade, like a crease shade. The only true matte in this palette is this pink one, which is the color of blush. So that I didn't really understand. I think if I were to, if I were a part of the Ipsy team, I would have swapped this pink out and maybe, although I do like this pink, I think the pink played a, a very big role in the eyeshadow that I did today. I don't know what I would swap out, but I would definitely put in like a cool tone brown as a good transition shade because there's no browns in here and I think a cool tone brown would have done wonders for this look. It's very pretty. I have to say it's not really that pigmented, but I'm gonna show you guys how I finessed the shadows to make them work. I like how it came out. It's very feminine. It's pretty. This is great for a date night, a lunch date. You know, this is a very versatile look and I have always loved Betty Boop. I've always been such a Betty Boop fan. When I was little, I was so obsessed with her. One year, my mom and dad, they bought me a Betty Boop watch for Christmas. It was this bright red leather bracelet with a little watch that was gold and it was just Betty Boop in the middle and it was just so cute. And I'm pretty sure I still have it somewhere if I can find it. But I just wanna say, if you have not done so, please be sure to subscribe, click that subscribe button. I would love for you to become a part of my little Fortune Finds family. We are almost 400 subscribers strong, which is so exciting and so gnarly to me because I remember for the first like six months of me uploading YouTube videos, I would get like five views and they were literally, each and every one of them was like one family member. So this is a big deal to me and I just wanna thank you guys for coming along for the ride. Sometimes I sit here and I'm like, in awe of myself that, you know, I sit down here and somehow manage to slab YouTube videos together every week on top of the millions of other things that I seemingly do, uh, which I feel, but I feel, you know, I'm not the only busy person out there, I'm just saying. I really appreciate your support, it really does mean a lot to me, and you guys definitely give me the motivation to show up every single week. This is really fun, I do do this because I do love it, but knowing that, you know, now people are watching my videos, it makes me even more excited to upload, so, Thank you so much. Let's go ahead. I'm just gonna swatch this eyeshadow palette while I'm sitting here because you guys know I always forget to swatch the eyeshadow palettes. And let's do the first row. I'm gonna hop into this pinky shimmer shade, which we do use today. And I'm just gonna do live swatches. So let's go ahead. Oh wow, that actually is way better than I thought it was gonna be. Golden shimmer, there are a lot of shimmers in this palette. Like I said, you get eight shades and only one of them is really matte. That's a lot darker than it looks like in the pan. Um, super pretty, a nice copper shade. The prettiest shadow, in my opinion, out of this whole palette, but it really doesn't translate well at all. So I did use this in the center of my eye to really make the center pop and make my eyes look a little bit bigger. It's like, oh, there you go, you gotta get it right. It's like a pinky iridescent shade right there. Sorry, I have the names somewhere, but honestly, you guys know I'm like really bad at reading names, especially when they're upside down. Almost like Barney Pink. I did not use this. Um, this just like isn't really my jam of a shade. But as you can see, it's kind of patchy matte pink shade. That really did an awful job of swatching. That matte is definitely lackluster. Now we're gonna go into this dark purple that I used for the wing on my eye, which I found this to be the most pigmented. 
but super patchy gray really patchy um i think this is the worst shade in the palette you're gonna see i dip back and forth a lot in this one in the pan it's such a pretty color like it's just such a pretty gray it just doesn't translate that pretty and then let's go ahead and dunk into this last shade this is also a shimmer shade and this is kind of like has a blue hue to it i did not use this today but that's really pretty but you can see like it just doesn't the swatches aren't very fluid they're not great swatches bear with me i feel like this makeup look is really really pretty and just you might learn a few tips and tricks Either you're interested in the Betty Boop collab, you want to see how this eyeshadow performs on my eyes, or you know you can recreate this look using a different eyeshadow palette. So there, the options here on my channel in this video are endless. So without further ado, let's stop babbling and let's get on to my Ipsy Times Betty Boop eyeshadow palette review. So I have my face prepped, so we're all on the same page. You guys know how I like to just keep you all informed. I did use my Belief Moisturizing Eye Balm, use that around my eyes. For the rest of my face, I used my Pond's Dry Skin Cream. And then for my lips, I used my NYX Plump It Up Lip Plumper, which I use all the time. So I'm gonna take a bronzer. Um, this is the BH Cosmetics Brilliance Bronzer in the shade Golden Gal. You guys know I love this. I use this as an actual bronzer, but it's also really great for contouring the eye. But before we do that, I think it would be a good idea to prime the lids. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of my Tarte, Tarte Tape Shape. I feel like I can't say it right ever since my sister came over and I did her makeup. Her and I kept like struggling to say it and now every time I say Tarte Tape Shape, it's like I laugh a little bit. I'm gonna take my damp beauty sponge and just pat this into my lids. And I'm making sure to get that inner corner because that's where I have a lot of darkness. And I find it's hard to go back in and correct that corner once I have some shadow down. So I like to do that first. And then I'm gonna put just a little bit more on the lid. And then again, tap that out with my Equal Tool sponge. Now I'm not gonna lay down um, a translucent powder simply because I did struggle with the pigment in this palette and playing with it. So I kind of want to give the shadows a chance to really adhere to my skin. So maybe if it's a little damp with that concealer, it might work a little bit better. So we're going to try that. I'm going to zoom you guys in. And then, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and take my bronzer and I'm just going to start putting some definition into the lid. I'm going to take a small healthy brush. This is a Morphe JH33. And I'm going to start that on the outer corner and then bring it in in windshield wiper motions. There's really no matte in this palette, like I said before, so I really want a matte to put down the foundation work for the eye. The crease is really the most important shade in my opinion because it really helps to make sure that your overall eyeshadow look looks blended in the end. We're gonna be putting a lot of shimmer a lot of colors down so you want this crease shade to show up and since i have hooded eyes which means when i open my eye i lose a lot of lid space i'm going to put this crease shade a little bit higher than my actual crease so that it doesn't get lost when i open my eye i'm going to take a little bit more of that and i'm going to put it underneath the eye like so we're doing the eyes first so if we get a little bit of fallout we make a mess it's not that big of a deal now I'm going to hop into the palette and I'm going to take this gray shade. Again, this is a shimmer shade, but it kind of is a little less shimmery than the others. It's not matte. It's just not as vibrant. And I'm going to put this into the crease and I'm going to keep it a little bit lower. And I'm just going to frame what we already did. And we're going to see if this gray even shows up on the eyes. Because I, like I said, I was playing with this last night and I was a little skeptical as to how the pigments are going to go because it really is not that pigmented like can you see that gray on my lid just barely and then i was even thinking like maybe there's like a top foam layer you know how sometimes you need to work into a shadow to see its full potential like use it a couple times so i really dug my finger into this to really get the pigment to come out a little bit more, but it really didn't work. And I'm gonna pat it down. Maybe if I pat it down and then blend it out, it'll be a little bit more pigmented, do you think? No, it's like the same. So that gave like the lightest cast 
of that gray. What are we gonna do? I don't know. Plain fluffy brush, and I'm just gonna go over all of that just to blend it in together. Matte pink, this is the only matte shade in the palette. I'm gonna take it on a flat brush like so, and I'm just gonna coat that brush and then I'm gonna pack it onto the lid. And I'm not gonna put it in the crease, I'm just gonna keep it to the lid. We don't want this pink to like show up too much because we're gonna go over it with some shimmer. We're kind of just laying this down to make the shimmer pop a little bit more. Because if it's anything like these other shades I just put on, it's not gonna pop at all. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna hop into this pink sparkly shade. I'm gonna take that on my finger I'm gonna just lay this down all over the lid where we just put that pink. Okay, that's showing up a little bit, that's good. And I really wanna pack that in the inner corner, so I'm gonna take like a fluffy brush, but it kinda of has a tapered end, see? Take that shimmer shade one more time and just bring it towards the inner corner and fluff it out. blue sparkle shade. I'm going to take that on my finger and I'm going to put this down the center of the lid just to make our eyes pop, make our eyes look a little bit bigger. Give that extra light there. Blue that we just used again. I'm going to put this underneath the brow bone. It maybe helps like a little bit. Take that blue again. I'm gonna put it in the inner corner of the eye. Go back in with that clean blending brush and just go over everything so very lightly. I'm like tapping it and swirling it. Barely touching the lid. I wanna use this purple and maybe just deepen up the lash line a little bit. So I'm gonna grab an angles brush like this grab that purple and I'm just gonna keep it to the lash line and I'm kind of just pressing it into the lash line. Ow, this thing is very stabby. This brush, a different one. It's just the same, it's the same kind of a uh, brush, just a different brand. And I'm just putting this up against the lash line to make the lash line look a little thicker make us look like we have a little bit more lashes than we do. I'm gonna wing it out a little bit. If we can get a little bit more pigment out of this, just a little bit, yeah, that worked. I'm gonna go over this one more time now that it's damp because it did come up a little bit darker. Okay, let's do that on the other side, this wing. It's always not like the other one. Hmm, that's like sharper. I'm gonna go over the ends with that blending brush just to like soften that wing out a little bit. I still like how this one looks better. I definitely wanna go ahead and let's put a shade underneath the eyes. I'm wondering what shade we should do. I'm gonna go in with that gray. I'm gonna put this underneath the eye. I'm gonna start in the middle and just fan it out. I don't really know if this is gonna do anything for us. Let me go ahead and wet this real quick. No, I don't think this is really doing anything for us. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna hop off camera, I'm gonna finish off the rest of my face and I'll meet you back here and we'll see where this takes us. I'm really not impressed with this so far. I don't think the pigmentation is there and it would it's a shame because these colors are very, very pretty, especially these glitters here are stunning and it's just, it's not giving me the color payoff that I need. So again, I'll be right back and hopefully we can make this work. All right guys, and this is the finished makeup look. I have to say at the end of the day, I am really happy with how this came out. However, I do not recommend this palette. I don't think this is like, gonna blow you out of the water. I opened it and thought the colors were really, really pretty, but nowhere in my mind did I think that this was gonna be like, blow me out of the water, knock my socks off. I didn't think that the pigmentation was gonna be amazing. I didn't really think that the colors would have translate as pretty as they were in the palette. And then once I got 
to swatching that kind of confirmed it not that swatching is always like the be all end all of the palette sometimes you can swatch a palette and the swatches don't come out great but it really translates well on the eyes however as you guys saw this one did not whether i went in with a dry brush a damp brush my finger you know it's just the pigmentation is really lacking in this palette so sadly i cannot say that i recommend it but if you're a betty boop fan and you just want to get your hands on it because it's a novelty piece then by all means go ahead, be my guest, and be sure to come back here and let me know what you thought of the palette if you do try it. So I like how this looks. I think it looks really nice with my dress. I think the overall makeup looks really pretty and I'm really loving a smoked out wing lately because for all my guys and gals out there, if you're not great at perfecting like a sharp wing, this is really your best bet. You're still gonna get that same effect. It's a little bit softer, but in my eyes, it's a little bit more feminine, chicer. So I will be sure to link all of the products that I used on my face down below because I know that I only showed you guys the eyes. But just to finish off the eyes, I really didn't do anything. All I did was curl my lashes and throw on the Il Maquillage Icon Mascara, which in my opinion makes any eyeshadow look bomb. It just really does something to my lashes. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please let me know by giving it a thumbs up down below. Leave me some love in the comments what do you guys think about this palette? Do you agree with my findings? Do you agree that it's just not, you know, it's so pretty, but it's just, it's not living up to how pretty it is when put on the eyes. Just let me know your thoughts. If you do end up trying this, like I said, let me know down below in the comment section what you think of it. If you're not yet subscribed, please be sure to do so and also click that bell button. This way you get a notification whenever it is I'm uploading a video here on my channel. I'm trying to upload twice a week. I think that's gonna be my new goal and something that I want to start with the uploading of this. So be sure to click that bell. This way you get a notification when my videos do go live. I'm not on a schedule as of right now, but I hope to be soon. Fingers crossed. I had a great time as always. Thank you guys so much for joining me and I will see you in my next one. Bye finders. Mwah.